Let's have a look at the first one. Now, as you can see on the board, I'm actually going to show you two ways of doing this. And then once we're done, I'm going to ask you which you think <coughs> is the better way. Which do you think was um, the one that you would choose in the future now that you've seen both? <coughs> Here's the first way I'm going to do it. And um, if what I'm writing is going to be different to what you got on your page, which will be very, very likely based on what I've seen around, please also write my working next to your working so you can compare both of them, even if you have the right answer. And I'm reasonably happy with that. Okay. Here's the first thing I'm going to do. I want to remember what these things actually mean. Okay. So this is 3 plus 2 fifths. And this is 2 plus 1 fifth, right? Did I write that Yeah. Wait, hold on. Did I write that's a third? That's a third. Yeah. Okay. Now therefore, approach number one is I've got whole numbers and then I've got fractions, right? Each time I've got the whole number and the fraction. That's what mixed numerals are about, okay? So my first approach will be, I'm going to do the whole numbers first and then I'll deal with the fractions, okay? So three, take away two. That's one. just one, yeah? So I've got that bit already. And then I deal with this next bit, which is two fifths take away a third. Do you see that's the bit which I've got now left over? Uh, I'm interested, a lot of you I think have done this in your heads or you've got some rough working somewhere else. I'd love for you to have all of the working there. When I was um, marking your fractions tests, which I'm going to give out shortly, uh, one of the things I noticed, and I'm going to pick out, I'll cover who's doing this so you won't worry about too much. Um, I'm going to pick out this page. Now when you have a look, even if you can't see uh, the exact test, you can see there's a sort of like a bunch of writing there and it's not really clear what order it goes in. Does it sort of go down this way and then across or does it sort of go sort of in a zigzag or does it go in a circle? Which one is it? Okay, I'm not entirely sure and that's because the format of it doesn't make it clear. So you can see I'm going to go all the way down my page and if you haven't set yours out like that, I'd love you to follow the way that I've done it. i still got my one out the front. These two fractions, they don't talk the same language, so what shall I do with them? Yes, Okay, so I want a common denominator, and the best way to do that is the lowest common multiple of my denominators. Three and five, what's the smallest number that is a multiple of both of them? Yeah, Christian? 15. 15, perfect. So, <coughs> how do I turn this into a fraction over 15? Yeah, Trun? One times in the denominator, numerator, numerator by three. Perfect, so if I multiply by three over three, that'll be six over 15. Does that look good? Is that equivalent? Yeah. And I also want the other fraction to be 15. So what am I going to do with that one? Yeah, Aiden. So, so for the other fraction, um, so for the numerator and the denominator, you times by 5. Fantastic. So that gives me this. And you can see that's why this is correct. Because now that I've got this 1, how many 15ths am I left with? 1. Just the 1 of them, right? So, lovely. Okay. Uh, let's approach 1. I'm going to show you approach number 2 now, which is to say, Remember in the first line how I dealt with the whole numbers? I dealt with them separately. You don't have to do that. Here's another way you can do it. So this is approach number two now. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole number and I'm going to convert it into, rather than a mixed numeral, what other form can I convert it into? Yes, Frank? Improper fraction. Improper, very good, because that numerator is going to be bigger than the denominator. So here's the way I'm going to write my first line. I'm going to write this as... Uh, 15 plus 2 over 5. Do you see where those numbers come from? The 15 over 5 is the 3 that's out the front. The 2 over 5 is the fraction that was there in the first place. Does that make sense? Minus, okay. What will the second fraction become? I'm trying to convert to an improper one. So what will I have on my number? Yeah. Uh, uh, 7 over 3. Okay, so you've gone straight to the answer, which is correct, I should add. Where the 7 over 3 comes from is... This gives me a 6 over 3, and there's already a 1 over 3 there. Yeah, so I'm going to write both of those bits there. Equals. Okay? So now I'm going to put everything together in a ball. 17 over 5, uh, 7 over 3 is what we're initially interested And then at this point, I'm kind of in the similar position to here. I want to get my common denominators, and they're still the same common denominators that I wanted from before. So I'm going to multiply by 3. And what do I multiply this by again to get over 15? By 5, which is 35. Okay, 51 take away 35. I think that's 16, yeah? And you have a choice. You can either leave the answer like that, or you can convert it to the mixed numeral, which is fine. Okay, so two approaches. Which one do you like? Heads up, who prefers approach number one? Hands up. 
Yeah, most of you. Now I can say, thank you, hands down. If you didn't uh, prefer approach number one, that's okay. Approach number two, as you can see, it got us the right answer. A lot of you put your hands up though. Why did you like approach number one better? Yeah, true. You get, the, you get a simplified answer and it's much easier than making the number into a mixed numeral than, than making the you have to also multiply big numbers like you have to do 17 times yeah yeah because you've mentioned a lot of different things there I, let me focus on that last one just look at the numbers just look at the numbers that i've written on the board clearly all of these numbers are bigger numbers than these guys up here right and that's because i sort of included the three and the two whereas here they just sort of disappeared there dealt with them okay because did you want to suggest another reason yeah like i like the second bridge but yep. uh, i like both of the bridges when i'm doing different things like, if it was like 5 and 2 over 5, I'd probably use the first one yep. instead of the second one, so I don't have to go that big. Yep. But the second one, the numbers that we dealt with weren't like that big. So yeah, they were reasonable. I, was, I mean, we did them all on the board together, didn't we? So it's not like it's impossible or anything like that. Darcy, you want to add one last the, thought? On the second approach, I start off by doing 5 times 3, then plus 2, then I'll get 15 plus 2. So you've so you done, do which part of you, d to so get to the 17? Yeah. So yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Good, well, what I'm gonna say is, one of the things I like about this, and I think the conventions, you can do lots of different things, and in fact, this way, we've confirmed we've got the right answer both ways, that's kind of nice. And of course, later on, when we get calculators and tests, you can do that as another way of confirming, okay? Should we move on, is that okay? Uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna skip over two, I'm gonna go straight to three, because this one will have a multiplication in it. So if we focus on that, then we'll be able to get most of those, okay? I'm just gonna rub this off, so that we have a little more space to work on. By the way, are people happy with the answer for two? Does it look okay? Yeah, it sort of has the right vibe for me. You can already see um, the 35 there, that's not an accident. Where does that 35 come from? Where does it sort of emerge? Yeah, Rinesh. Yeah, I'm trying to get a common denominator, aren't I? So I think Aiden, did you write? Aiden, where'd you go? You wrote this one up, right? Yeah. So we can already confirm he's got that right. That's on the right page. Uh, and the rest of it would come just by testing it out. Let's have a go at this one. So if you haven't got some working there, this is question three. This is what we're after, okay? Now, again, just like most times, you've got lots of different ways you can do this. Can someone suggest to me a first line of working that could actually help me here? Yeah, Darcy. Do um, seven times four. Hold on, wait, wait. Seven. Question three. Question oh, three. Question, oh, yeah. Someone else? Does someone else? Yeah, Nikhil. Um, so like, you just change the five times one plus five, which is this six. number here. Yep. Yeah. Six over five. Okay. So what we've done is we want to have a name on this because you guys know what this process is. What have we done? It starts with a C. It starts with a C. What have we done for the first line? The second line. Yeah, Maria. Yeah, we've converted, right? So the conversion from a mixing rule to an improper fraction. Okay, now what? Two, can you take over? Now you have to change the six over five to a reciprocal. Okay, so I'm gonna change that into, I'm gonna flip it upside down. And then what do I do with it? Because that's not the only thing I changed. Yes, yeah, Selena. <coughs> Perfect, okay. So just like if you divide by two, that's the same as multiplying by a half. That's why I've changed this into multiplication. And you can see here, because, um, this is the answer I'm expecting. You're multiplying across, which is perfect. Okay, happy times? So, well done, Frank, it was you, wasn't it? Okay, thank you very much.